the very best that no one ever was. To catch them is my whether you're coming to Pokemon Let's Go afresh, straight from two years solid Pokemon Go action, or are a seasoned pro, there are certainly some things about Pokemon Let's Go that could be considered a little quirky. Or at least, might make you scratch your head a little. But don't worry, we've beaten the Elite Four, almost completed our Pokedex, and have come back from Kanto with a bookload of Pokemon Let's Go tips that you might find handy to keep written on a piece of paper that you keep tucked in your Pokedex. So let's jump right in. The first tip, bonding with your buddy grants you sure hit moves in battles. You might think bonding with your Pikachu or Eevee is just a silly and ridiculously adorable minigame, but it's actually super handy. As you bond with your buddy, it'll unlock various perks. The two most important being a pair of sure hit moves that you can use in battle. For example, if you're fighting with Pikachu, a quick shake of the Joy-Con or Pokeball Plus when prompted will cause it to unleash a sure hit attack called Pika Pow. Doing the same while fighting with any other Pokemon will cause Pikachu to use the simply named Pikachu Support which improves all the stats of your attacking Pokemon. Very nice. 2. Everything contributes to your total XP during a catch. Sometimes it's easier to rack up a whole load of XP just by catching some Pokemon, rather than engaging rival trainers in a battle, and that's because everything you do in the catching process contributes to your multiplier score. Getting a nice, great, or excellent throw, nabbing the Pokemon on your first Pokeball, having a good technique, whatever that means, catching something that you didn't even have in your Pokedex, it all counts towards your overall XP multiplier, meaning getting a new Pokemon on your first ball with an excellent throw is basically winning the XP jackpot. 3. Always catch huge or tiny Pokemon over normal ones. You'll notice as wild Pokemon start appearing that some pop up with red or blue swirling rings around them. Well, a red ring indicates that it's huge in size and blue rings are for tiny Pokemon. Not only does that affect their stats, but it also means aiming for one of these is going to get you additional XP on top of all that loving catching magic. 4. Shiny Pokemon exist in Let's Go If you're lucky, and I mean very lucky, you may find yourself bumping into a shiny Pokemon. A shiny Pokemon is basically an incredibly rare Pokemon that has a different colour variety to its original. For example, a green Zubat or a slightly darker Pikachu. Rumours have it that the chances of finding a shiny is 1 to 4,000, and the only way to heighten your chances is by combo catching the same Pokemon over 31 times. And we even tested this to 300, but hey, that's why we test this so you don't go wasting your evenings. Combo catching over 31 of the same Pokemon apparently increases your chances up to 4 to 4,000. A big jump, but still very rare, but it is definitely doable. Plus a quick tip on this, if you turn off your console by accident, catch a different Pokemon, or a Pokemon runs away, this will break your combo, meaning you have to start again. Yeah. I would recommend saving every 5 combo or so, making sure that you never have too much ground to make up. 5. It sometimes pays to wait in the long grass. Although long-term Pokemon fans will be used to running about in the long grass, bumping into as many Pokemon as possible as they can, the fact that you can see the wild critters available for catching in Pokemon Let's Go is quite literally a game changer. What that means is that you can avoid anything you don't want to catch and just wander up to anything that you do. Pokemon are basically on a spawn rotation, so the longer you wait, the more likely you are to see everything that particular patch has to offer, including the rare guys. 6. Don't worry about trying to catch Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Although your Pikachu or Eevee buddy is for life, you're probably going to start thinking about cheating on them with one of the original Gen 1 starter Pokemon, Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Well, there's good news, and more good news. You can actually catch all three in the wild in Pokemon Let's Go, but you also have the opportunity to be given one of each for absolutely free by speaking to some NPCs, just like back in Pokemon Yellow. You'll get Charmander from a struggling trainer just after Nugget Bridge, which lies on Route 24, north of Cerulean City. Bulbasaur comes via Lady in a House, just north of the entrance to Cerulean City itself. And you'll get Squirtle from Officer Jenny in Vermilion City. Perfect. 7. Keep your eyes peeled for Professor Oak's aid. The man in white coats is coming, and he's not trying to take you away, he's trying to help. 
Professor Oak's aide is hiding away in the guard posts on several routes along your Pokemon journey, and he'll reward you with various stages of your Pokedex completion. Find him upstairs at the guard tower on Route 11, east of Vermilion City once you've caught over 30 species of Pokemon, and he'll give you the Pokemon rating feature which lets you see how good your Pokemon stats are. Find him again upstairs in the guard tower on Route 16, just west of Celadon City, with 40 species ticked off, and he'll give you 30 Ultra Balls. But the ultimate perk is when you've got 50 species of Pokemon and head to meet him upstairs at Guard Tower on Route 15, just east of Fuchsia City, which is when he'll give you lab coat themed assistant outfits for you and Pikachu. Adorbs. 8. Talk to everyone you find. And speaking of conversing with the locals, you should actually make it your mission to talk to every NPC in Kanto region that it has to offer. Not only can they have starter Pokemon for you, but speaking to people can also be incredibly lucrative. Some will give you money, others offer Pokemon trades, and some hold the key to unlock an exclusive outfits for you and Pikachu. And we all want those, right? 9. You can get Alolan Pokemon through NPC trades. If you talk to the people lurking in Pokemon centers throughout Kanto, you'll find that some will offer you a rather strange trade. The first one wants you to trade a Rattata for a Rattata, which might sound like utter madness, but what they actually want you to do is swap your standard Kanto in all of its purple normal type glory for their Alolan one with its black fur and dark normal type ways. It's currently the only way to get Alolan versions of all the Pokemon outside of Pokemon Go trading, so it's worth looking out for these characters in Pokemon centers. So there you have it, a few tips for Pokemon Let's Go players. If you enjoyed it, make sure to click the boxes on the left for more Pokemon Let's Go content and smash the button in the middle to get yourself subscribed to the Games Radar YouTube channel. As per usual, thanks for watching.